Video new shows who won the race. Well, I wasn't expecting this to be a video game universe. I thought it would be an actual they're racing in a shared universe kind of deal. I don't know why I thought that, but I also didn't think it would be a video game universe, like I said. But hello to all you crazy people out there. Welcome to Disney Speedstorm. I was intending on playing this when it first came out, but then I just literally never felt like recording. So this is my first time even opening the game. I didn't want to play it without recording it, so I never played it, but I, then I never felt like recording it. So it just became a perpetual state of me p holding it off until I felt like recording it. So here we are again, trying to do a video. And I say again because I actually did try to do a video before. Play this video on the current platform or a different one? Uh, no, I'm a new user. But um, I tried to play, make a video before. It was actually Pokemon Unite. And then I was intending on uploading that, but I never got around to editing that. So I at least did a video recording. That was back in March. With that said, I still haven't said this Happy New Year to everyone. So I said that in my Pokemon Unite video. Uh, I don't know if I'll play this. I probably will never play this on any other platform. It'll probably just be on the Xbox. I'm pretty sure I can link it later anyway. So for now, we'll just get into the game. But yes, Disney Speedstorm. I said I was intending on playing this when it first came out. I was rather excited for it when it was announced because I've been wanting another Mickey racing game since Mickey Speedway USA on the 64. That was a lot of fun. Never did finish that game. And I think I actually talked about it a little bit in one of my games. I said I was going to end up buying the game and I still haven't. Tester. So yeah, this is a gaming universe. Made by me, RB. I need your help. Renault 065, please test the controls. I probably should be reading this just in case people can't read that fast. Also, this is a bit updated. Prepare to use your racing skills. Is this some pretty fast text, though? So, wait, do I not get to choose my race at the start? Or. I like the Hercules music, though. Of course, we get to start off with Mickey. I'm guessing the tutorial. So, you get a fourth tutorial. You can't go into the game saying you don't know what to do. I don't know if I like how Mickey looks. Right trigger to accelerate. My controller's moving to the left. Or to the right, that is. Automatic, I guess I need a new controller. Because it's automatically steering to the right. Something like that. While oh, steering to drift. Okay. Do you have a power drift? Or, uh, I can't feel anything. Crush A to boost when the boost gauge is full. There's a lot of use of skill. A bomb. I love his music. Has Disney ever remixed their songs before? I don't think they have. Now that I think about it, I should be worried about a live action Hercules movie, huh? They remix or live action everything else. They're trying to. They're trying to do my Lilo and Stitch now. Not too excited about that. I'll dread what they're going to do to Stitch. Everyone else is fine aside from them getting rid of Cobra Bubbles. I don't know the mindset for that. I feel like my channel would get copyrighted by this music. There's no way, right? Disney has to know people would be streaming this, or recording and streaming this game. If I get copyrighted because of that. <sighs> anyway. 
The controls seem smooth so far, still no Crash Team Racing, which is like the golden standard for me when it comes to racing games. Mario Kart is good for casual play, I love Crash Team Racing though, that's just wow, perfection. And I don't think I've actually ever done a video on it. I tried to, but the recording messed up so much and I don't know why. So I never did get that put out. He's a speedster. No, wait, I missed what it said. So you have to level up every racer? You do. Miku will be your first companion as you race through this journey together. Hashtag happy, hashtag welcome. Ultimate Frontiers Pack. An incredible lineup of Disney and Pixar characters are suited up and revving their engines in racing combat. Upgrade each racer's stats to make the most of their unique skills. Don't like that. Six races, including a racer of your choice to unlock. Timing your nitro boost to are precisely drifting around corners is crucial to dominating the track. Even more golden pass. The action never slows down because fresh seasonal content is always around the corner. Why do you have to pay for a game and then there's a pass? I thought this would just be like an all content unlocked game. Is this really a you have to? That doesn't make any sense. Racers and suits instant unlock. Exclusive avatar model and cart parts. Um, 12,000 tokens. Tokens are used for all kinds of things from unlocking more golden passes to getting awesome liver livery. Livers, liveries and racing suits? I don't know what that word is. You just received Mickey Mouse and four more racers. You can now pick one racer of your choice. A defender. Brawler. Well, I don't like how Mowgli looks. I'm going with Blue. You have chosen Blue as your extra race. You cannot change this choice later. Yeah. I really want to use Blue. I didn't know the game had locked content despite yeah. you paying for it. Don't like your voice. Apparently we get level experience just for playing or unlocking him. Become invulnerable for a very short period of time and start throwing rotten fruit backwards. Each piece of fruit stands opponents. Activate a shield that lasts for a short duration. Activate an offensive warrior that lasts for a short duration and stands the first opponent you touch. So these are skills. How do you unlock skills? Power boost. Hack, pass, and guided projectile. Oh, I have so much to learn. So then, what's the field that lasts the longest in duration? You become invulnerable for a long period of time and start throwing rotten fruit. So you have to level up. I don't like that. I really don't. So let's, I guess, change to blue. How do you do that? Oh gosh, that was amazing. How do you edit your? No, don't quit. How do you do things? What are things to do? Okay, play. I want to edit. Pick somebody else. But how do you change? He's not telling me how to change my racer. Do I have to start with? I can't. You can't be forced to play with Mickey, right? Cart customize crew. So would it be crew? No crew to apply. Check crew to learn how to get them. Huh. Well, that's cool. But it doesn't tell me how to change my race here. It's cool music though. Collections. Racers found the collections of the list. We check out the helpful details and such. So 
So we have pretty much one of every person unlocked, it looks like. One more shards, you can go in and get shards and such. Go here to more depth loot. Look at your racers. Right on. Yeah. So does that make me select them? Right nope, so it doesn't make me select them. How do you change characters? What's the shop? Why is the game frozen? Also, this is loud. I don't know if my bike is picking it up. I don't think it's that sensitive. It might be. So I have no whatever. All this new line stuff. Jack Sparrow. Hmm. No, seriously, how do I change racers? Do I have to go into a race? Or... Progress... Progress on the circuit to unlock. Progress on the starter circuit to unlock. I have to do starter circuit for a lot of things. So can I not change characters? Do I have to start with Mickey? Because if so, that's kind of dumb. It has to be an edge racer thing, right? It is not letting me. There's nowhere to change it. Let me see. Okay, I don't care about your tutorials. So the six I have unlocked, the blue being the only epic one, although I don't like that. Stop trying to make me quit. I guess we'll just get into the game. I don't even know how long I've been on this menu trying to figure things out. So we go to this, we go to that. Looks like we are, I guess we're forced to use Mickey from the start. I don't care about your tutorials. Have you ever, if you have never played a racing game, check the game steering assist. I don't need steering assist. So can I change here? How do I change? Racing conditions, racer selections, there no, there's nothing. I guess we'll just start. Okay. It's not letting me change racers. I don't see any option to do that. I am forced to use Mickey. Uh, whatever. Let's just see how the game plays. That was the whole point of this. We will see. Can you be the first race to finish the line? Or to the finish line, whatever. Megara. I don't know why Mickey's ears are like that. I forgot to play already. Oh, that's what they mean by charge version. It's just you holding it. Not like a power thing to make the lose here. So why would you ever not charge your power up then? Really good music though. I'm not gonna lie about that. And that was the damage the first opponent hit. So there, some of them I know have different. Whatever the word you want to say is. Use, uses. I kind of think what the actual word for it though. This music sounds familiar. Is the 
I know they're using a Kingdom Hearts. How are we gonna say? Oh. Megara almost beat us. Mowgli came in third. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be for a beginner race. The music is on point. I love that about the game so far. It feels slippery to control though. It kind of reminds me of Sonic Team Racing, which never finished that game. I don't even think, I haven't even gotten past the third stage on that game. I just kind of lost interest. I guess it didn't help that I went immediately to the hardest mode and got my butt beat by the computers. I didn't think the game would be that hard, but... Mm. Reach top three, reach top five, finish the race. So that was it. Just gonna reach top three, use one skill, use two skills. So that's just the power-ups, right? I'm all warmed up and it's ready to go! Let's go! Now so far I don't hate the game. I don't at all like the idea of unlocking racers and upgrading them over time for a game that you paid full price for you should have all the content unlocked from the start that's something i will very heavily peg against this game i feel like it could have been a great game but otherwise though well, i guess i need to learn how to blast off now i guess you want to get it in that green circle How long does this last? It lasts forever. Oh, collect it. And it lasts forever. Nope, not that hit. Okay. Seems I've canceled it. You got this. Can't. Give you balance on it. Yeah, it looks like the case. That was pretty cool. So far, the game seems like it would be a lot of fun. Like I said, just that one negative I have against it. And I guess I'll have to learn the three stages of power ups on most of these games. On most of these items. But I'm good with it. Shortcut over there. I guess that's how everybody passed me before. I don't know if it's a shortcut or this shortcut. Oh, I forgot about the boost. It's probably also been out people who passed me. Drifting charges up your boost meter. When you have a full boost, you use it. And I didn't use it at all in the first race. I only use it at the end in the second race. Oh yeah, that's the power up of the skills. How long is this? Congrats, you unlocked a reward. Don't forget to continue on the starter. Whatever, who, whatever, right now. So we unlock things for Mickey. A new cart. A new suit. And I don't know what that's for. 
Racing flag. It doesn't tell me what it's for. Upgrade part is all it says. So there's nothing else to figure out. Also, just full disclaimer if people didn't realize this already. I have the... Whatever you want to call it. The Lux. Deluxe, I think it was called. Uh, quit forcing me with these tutorials. I have the deluxe version of this game, which is why I'm even more upset about the fact that you have to unlock extra content inside the game despite you having paid full price for it. <sighs> you have enough parts to upgrade what I'm upgrading. Acceleration upgraded. Do not need two flags. Uh, so stats aren't even maxed out. So is there online play? I'm pretty sure there is. There has to be, right? So then the person that plays the most gets the most out of this game. Like, Crash Team Racing, you had to, you only unlocked new things that they added with DLC, but every character was maxed out from the start, which is great. I think, same thing with like Mario Kart, like even, I'm thinking, I, don't, I can't remember. Um, with the new one, Deluxe, yeah, no, the, all, the, all them unlocked too. Then what's the, how did they think this was a good idea? Hmm. This game would get all my praises if they hadn't done this weird thing with their racers. Boost is up a lot more than I thought it would be. Boost is up a lot actually. There's no wonder Race is always passing me. And then it makes it even more astounding that I was going as good as I was because I was never using any boost. jumping in the tutorial. Okay. That was easy. All these are pretty easy. I'm assuming I won't be challenged until I have to fight other players. Race other players rather. Fight. <sighs> As it stands right now, I give the game a three out of five simply for this unlocking feature. Cause I can't fathom any excuse for that. And this is pretty long. This might be a short video if I can't figure out how to change racers. So I made progress. How much progress do I have to... So this is definitely something I'm going to play in my own time. What if I go to local race? Will it let me change racers? Who is that? He looks a bit swan. Figment. Are we gonna race today? I don't know who Figment is. I'm all warmed up and ready to go. I do this for the Far family. Always trust a dishonest man. I'll prove I'm not just another chariot chaser. Yeah, if you wanna race like a bear, you gotta get real loose and learn how to weave. 
Well, it's Baloo, but it's not his voice. At least we can finally oh, use someone else. Right. I need to figure out who that um, dragon is. I didn't know that he was in the game. The silver screen. Classic. So I guess we're in a race against computers on hard and see how that is. Maybe that'll give me my great final impressions on the game. What is game mode for? This is a little more precise than making this. Whoa, now. Is that a power? Holy cow. Okay, they ain't messing around. Blue controls way different. I figured that was a bad thing to hit. Well, gotta learn. Mm, well, don't know how you're supposed to get past that. I guess I could jump over it? I'm tired of these bombs. Seem like there's a drift on the Whoa, what was that? Okay, learning that. Consider we're not doing horrible, but I also think that's because we keep getting that whatever that thing is that zaps us to the front. Something like a Shang came up and rear ended us out of nowhere. That was fun because it was hard, so I actually had a challenge there. And I had to figure things out, so that's what I like. Oh, wait. I thought it was just in. Hmm. Oh, that was just a one time thing. Okay. I thought that was a whole circuit. Okay. Well, I see how to change racers now, but boy, is it finally letting me stick with it? Is it let me stick with blue? Hey! No, it isn't. Competitive multiplayer unlocked. The ultimate racing skill tests against players from around the world. So now we have unlocked multiplayer. There it is. Okay, that's cool. I don't recommend playing that yet, though, because my races aren't at all leveled up. So, there's that. Because this race only you can get to try out this advanced racer. This one has two stars, which means you'll get to use their unique skills. What unique skills? You have to be level 15 for two stars. Also, what's the skills? Trickster, I don't. Eh. Wish me luck. 
We'll do one more, I guess. Just to kind of try to get the most out of this game. I'm trying not to just give just only first impressions. Well, I mean, it's still all just going to be first impressions, but... What is this? You can be the first race at the finish line. Let's see. Is that the game card info? I will make my family proud. Yours is in the middle. When the boost is full, it's pedal to the middle. Now they have McMahon out of here. Nah, the channel is absolutely going to get copyrighted for this stuff. Other for shortcuts. The game isn't going to just hint at it. And I think every game is like that anyway. So. Well, that was cool. So, unlike, let's say, Mario Kart 8, where every racer is essentially the same outside of weight class. This one, every racer is pretty much different. We try to give each of them their own set. Which would be a great positive if you didn't have to unlock all of them. coming for us. Hmm. Alright, so what do I think? Like I said, grain would game would be fine. And I definitely love the music. The music is, is excellent. What do we got for rewards? Something else for Mickey. Another thing for Mickey. Any more stuff for Mickey? Everything is for Mickey. Collection level two. More rewards. At least we got universal stuff, so we can upgrade anyone. I may like to relax. Go to the upgrade screen to use your upgrade points and make sure your racer meets the required level. So now I can change racers. I could. Uh, I don't remember seeing that list down below. So upgrade. Hold on. Do I not have? I don't have shards for him. Oh wait, the universal shards. So what did X do? What, what was that menu? I was telling you where to get shards from. Well, now. Next one is top speed. Yeah. Lay it on me. And this one you need another item. So it's not even just one item. Where do you get this from? A wooden club. Play more with blue against other races to unlock cool rewards. Play more with blue. With the race to unlock cool rewards. Play more with blue to unlock 
Ugh. Hmm, so those are missions. Mickey Mouse, at your service. So now Goodbye, I can use other racers. Poised, punctual. And these are all the racers. Mike Wazowski. Randall, Sully, Mowgli, Shang. Who are you? I feel like he has to be. He's not from the Sword in the Stone, right? I don't know who Figment is. That's gonna bug me, so I'm gonna figure this out before we even end this episode. Who is Figment? Let's see. According to Google. Figment, a small purple dragon with a pink tummy occasionally seen sporting a yellow sweater, is the mascot of the imaginative Pivlin at the Epcot. That's why I don't know him? He's just a theme park mascot. That's why I don't know who he is. So he's an Epcot mascot. And he's the last one on the list. Huh. Well, that's cool. He's the only dragon on here. So that's all the racers then, right? Yeah. Remember, a hero's only as okay. Good as his lap time. Well, how do you unlock racers then? So it must be a the shop, right? Chippendale shards crew pack. What is this stuff? Buy item. Is there a cash shop to this? It doesn't look like it. How do you unlock golden pass stuff? It says progress, and the golden pass are racing the season tour, and then limited as to get season coins available. So you have to race in stuff that you have to unlock. Uh. All this stuff is from Mulan. Blue. I still don't have any points for you. So where do you get Kai? Percy and Jungle Book. What does he do? He doesn't tell me what he does. Complete in leaderboard events and ranked multiplayer to earn multiplayer coins. So those are multiplayer coins. I don't know what. Th I guess this is just from solo play. Yeah, that's that's it from. This is from Vince. So the I don't know what you would call that. I guess you can call it an upside down M for multiplayer, and then the S is for single, and then the Monsters Inc. thing is for events. So that's how that's all your currency. Okay. So there's no cash shop, from what I see. Which is great, but like I said, it's still a huge negative that you have to unlock content in a game you already paid full price for. I do not like nor support that in the slightest. <sighs> but the game is fun for what it is. I guess multiplayer would be the highlight and I guess you wouldn't be too far out of your league racing against other players. Regulated multiplayer. What's regulated? By clicking confirm below you acknowledge you'll be playing Disney's Victorian platforms. Pure skill here is race against players of the same level, only your skill matters here. So that's why it's regulated. That's what I was assuming. Winners keep it worse when races. I guess we'll end it on that. We will um, play a regulated thingy. Oh, you have voices sound weird. Hold on. Hold on. I don't say honest. I'm ready for an adventure if you are. I can still scare if I want to. I'll show him who's boss. Lay it on. Why does Donald sound like the only person with his actual voice actor? I'll bring honor to us all. Mulan sounds okay. Remember, take what 
what you can. Give nothing back. No, it's not at all, Jack Sparrow. A hero's only as good as his lap time. Eh, good impression. I want to hear Goofy now. Okay. How do you get shards for bracers? Visit a shop and see all the special items on offer. Stay on the lookout for exclusive items. So this is the universal box. Contains eraser shards and crew member shards from all past collections. You will never get shards and characters that you have already maxed out once you have unlocked all the rewards. A certain type. Controller disconnected. My controller disconnected. Did my controller die? Eh, it's fine anyway. I need to change it. Because that one was drifting when it didn't need the drift. So these are... What are these? You have... One. Whatever this is. I guess let's see what this box is. That's her name, Shanti. Hmm. That's cool. From Jungle Book 2. So we had a thingy to open it. Contains customization items to help you tweak your fight players, whatever. Not enough resources. These are all the boxes. So how do you unlock, what you call it, actual racers? They said be on the lookout for boxes. Hmm. Don't know. That I'm makes it even honest. more unlockable for me. You won't be disappointed. Anyway. Let's do a quick race here, if there are other people online. Let's see how the online play is, and we'll end after that. Wait, am I using Sully? I am. I don't say it. Honest. Now, Glad I noticed. You race like a bear? You gotta get real loose and learn how to weave. A squirrel, Herx, Brain Dunn, Ricard Ops, Caution, and Koger Man. Someone has Goofy. I just noticed you can change your icon. Hey, don't nobody cheat now. No tickle. You missed it. No, they're all pros. Oh, so you can do things in there. This drift isn't that good. Okie dokie. Mm. Delicious. I don't know the stage. They have the advantage of me on that. Can I boost automatics?
be horrible. And that was a lot harder. Okay, so multiplayer is where is that? If I want to challenge. I would have to learn all the tracks first though. Okay, so like I said, my impressions. Game is fine. I just absolutely hate how they went with this route of unlocking content. That's going to be my main takeaway from this game. If you don't mind unlocking content and playing it, enjoying it casually, I guess it's fine. Although you can't unlock everything because you have to use multiplayer, so you need online service for this. That's so dumb. But the game is fine. It's definitely a good little, it's a good racing game. Just the content unlocking is the absolute downfall of this game. That will be the biggest grief I will forever have with it. Maybe it's just me. It could just be me. I don't know. I don't know what people are talking, how people feel about this game because I haven't seen reviews on it or didn't, I haven't seen it. It's not popped up on my subscription or recommended feed on YouTube at all. No one's talking about this game from what I've seen. So I'd have to actually look it up to see what people are saying on it. Which I guess I could do now since I finally played it so it wouldn't be spoilers for me. I couldn't do that before buying. I pre-ordered this game so I was already out of luck. So probably should stop pre-ordering games. <laughs> but it's like I said, it's fine. It's, it's a good racing game. I just... That is so dumb. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you shouldn't pay that much for a game and have to unlock content. Who started that trend? Whoever did, just know. So, yeah, it's... Would I recommend it? <laughs> Let me put it this way. I wouldn't say this game is... You're better off buying this over Mario Kart. Mario Kart is far more worth your money than this is and in my opinion you get all your racers unlocked you get i think no you pay for the dlc the the race the bonus booster pack is something you pay for but that's still better than unlocking racers you get all the racers right off the bat the only thing you have to unlock is the carts and other accessories which makes sense that's fine but you shouldn't lock racers behind content because you start off with one. I think the deluxe edition I got gave me four extras plus an epic or elite racer, which I chose blue. So I would have only started off with Mickey. And I don't even think it would have given me Mulan. So I started off with an advantage. If you got this just with the base, I think it's like 50, 40 or 50 dollars base price for this. You would only have Mickey. I can't in good conscience recommend this game just because of that. At least they give you the trial, but that's no, because you can't use them in races that matter. You can only use it in local. Hmm. Like I said, can't in good conscience recommend it. The game, the music is great. If you just want to, if you want to play this game full on casually and just enjoy it for what it is, this is a good game. It's, the racing is fine. I feel like it will just take some getting used to because I'm not used to the slippery drifting mechanics, which I think is more in tune with Mario Kart. But my racing style preferred method is Crash Team Racing, which is weird because everyone technically races the exact same in Crash Team Racing. The only difference is if you change your um, speed type, so acceleration, speed, or balance, or whatnot, have you, as opposed to like on Mario Kart, where every racer kind of plays a little differently, and then you modify their carts even more to make them play differently. And if you play like a bike or a cart or anything like that, then it's even more different. So, this one, I guess they have defender classes and all that kind of stuff. So, the game is. It, mm -hmm. I don't want to bash the game like it's not a bad game it's just that like I keep saying and I'm going to keep saying it the method of unlocking this content is absolutely stupid and asinine and they should not have done that if they hadn't have done that I would give this game at least an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 it would be up there because I enjoy the music the music is beautiful 
it looks good the characters are a little rough around the edges from what I would expect because they're too poly in my opinion they should have been smoothed out a little bit more like they could they, they yeah they abs there's no reason for that because even Mario Kart looks great like they all look they have fantastic models why doesn't Disney have that same type of flesh and I paid like 80 bucks for this game so why do they seem so uncanny like even the way Baloo is looking at me right now is a little weird and then it like nothing is it's not smooth it looks it looks like an old style video game and I get that it's supposed to be a gaming universe but that doesn't that can't, I can't justify that for this type of graphics it's a charm in it sure but I expected them to look better I guess especially <sighs> the more I think about it the more negatives I'm coming up with for this game I'm gonna just stop now before I go on a whole ranting spree here so um will I make more videos of this probably not it's a good I'm gonna definitely play it more on my own time but now that I finally made a video on it so that's good but I won't I can't make content out of this because I would be bashing it non-stop and I don't want to do that so it'll just be something I enjoy in my spare time unlocking stuff and that's kind of all it is it'd be unlocking stuff that's not fun to watch the races would be cool I online play would be okay but it's eh, maybe late game I'll make more content for it but as it stands now I have no interest in it so it'll be something I play on my spare time, but I will not be making any more videos on it unless I feel the end game is worth it. So, like I said, would I recommend this game? Probably not over other racers. If you want to play this casually and just enjoy seeing your racers, your favorite characters from Disney on screen, which I think there's only like 15 of them anyway, 10 or 15 somewhere around there, then, well, you have to unlock them first, and that's not even worth it. Let me end this video before I stay on this whole negative stream. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will try to get back into the swing of making regular videos and uploading them, but no promises on that. But I will catch you on the next one whenever that one comes out. Take care. Okay, so post, well, not really post edit. I haven't even started editing the video yet, but this is me coming back on technically day two. I played a bit more after I stopped recording just to kind of get a bit of a feel of the game and I got to say I'm definitely even more impressed with the controlling of it because it is closer is more akin to Crash Team Racing than it is to Mario Kart in a sense that yes every racer has its own speed tier but there's no like like how Mario Kart has the 50cc 150cc and 150 and all that um, this one just has one straight boosting speed and it's up to you to go either fast or slow by drifting or not drifting, which is exactly how the Crash Team Racing handle it. So I definitely love that. And also all the negatives I had about the game have kind of gone out the window because I came to a realization. Well, I can't say I came to a realization. I found out after watching, I went on YouTube and just tried to search up some stuff to see what other people were saying about the game. And I found out one crucial, very important piece of information that I can't believe I wasn't aware of because I guess I just completely missed that fact. This is early access. This will be a free to play game. So I can't complain about it having these unlock features because that makes absolute sense for a free to play game. So then there are basically no negatives that I have about it. What I was saying earlier. That does however bring up a different type of negative information. Whatever you want to say. I have more grief I have different type of grievances for the game now as opposed to what I was saying before but only one real grievance that I have with it is the fact that when you pay for early access like this the last time I did that was for smite which you could argue that was so long ago and games are different now but then I would argue companies are getting more greedy but when I played smite and I got the early access founders pack or whatever you want to call that one it gave, it gave you every available champion that they had, plus you get every available champion that they release in the future. And I haven't played that game in years, but I know if I log on now, I will still have every single champion that they've released over the course of the time that I haven't played. 
So then I'm paying $60 for this game and I only get not is it yeah half of the roster i guess it'd be half the roster probably not even half but i get not yeah it's not even half i don't even get half the roster i get four people plus one of my choosing that's not really a good deal and then the tokens don't really make that big of a difference either so it's better but i still have a grievance with how they handled that the founders pack but then that still takes away, like I say, everything that I had negative about the game, about how saying I don't like how you have to pay full price for a game and then unlock everything still. But that won't be a problem because it's free to play. So that's fine. Every everything is fine now. So I will rate this game an eight out of ten. Easy. Not a nine, I would say an eight. Because it is following the dying gang trend of events and logging on daily to get stuff. I personally don't care for that anymore. I know a lot of other people are kind of feeling the same way because every game is trying to do that trend. So then you're torn between so many different types of games trying to log in every day to avoid FOMO. And that's not exactly a good way to go about it. Because then you, you feel pressure to play a game and you aren't really doing it for the enjoyment. You're doing it because, oh, I have to do this or else I'll fall behind which like I said, is, is not the best way to go about handling a game. And also the other reason I wouldn't rate it a 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 even is because I don't care for the character models too much. It's especially Mickey's ears are really noticeable. I don't like how it's blocky. I don't get why it's blocky. Disney came out with their, I think it was like, it wasn't metaverse, multiverse? It was the multiverse, a mobile game that had beautiful, stunning graphics. It doesn't have to be realistic. I just don't like the blocky graphics that they have going on for this game. It's artistic, but eh, I would rather it be smooth like how Mario Kart is. That looks beautiful. And if you want to be artistic, Crash Team Racing is artistic and lovely and just great. Like you can be artistic and still high detail. This isn't really high detail to me. It looks plastic and toy-like. Which I guess maybe that's what Disney wanted to help sell their toys more. I don't know. I don't really understand the thought process. I'm not really big corporate overlords that go into all this stuff. But um, the only other thing I've learned since playing after ending, I did unlock more stuff. So I have more stuff unlocked. Um, the limited event is definitely something you'll have to log in often to apparently check in on I am behind because I started this game how long it's been it came out on the 18th how long has it been it's been one two weeks essentially almost three pretty much three whole weeks so that was so it started there that's a week two weeks two and a half weeks it's been two and a half weeks since this game has come out so I am absolutely behind didn't know all about this stuff Huh. Got some more stuff I got to do before they expire. Didn't know there were two pages. So I was trying to do this one to get the dragon here, Figment. And I am not even close to the top 10%. Apparently you have to get to 119 the time for number one position. Also, I don't know how Figment even works. And I don't think they'll let me see how he works. Is there a way? To, I think there's a way to like check um racers right maybe how do you check racers let me see hold on it's up here collection um figment would be here wrong button so he does some, he cheers and then he collects stars i don't know what those do Create a trail of imagination that obscures the vision of any of them who touches it. After the trail, activate. After the trail, activate a very short speed boost that stacks for every opponent hit by the trail. Create a blast of imagination that obscures the vision of any of the opponents and activates a very short speed boost that stacks for each opponent hit. So then, when I use, I guess that one time I used it and I got like five stacks of stars. Was I supposed to use it? To do something again to? I don't know. He's an interesting character, though. I like him. He's he's, he's pretty adorable. Um, the other thing I found out—I mean, I knew there was going to be a tier list, but 
I should have known there's gonna be tier list. Baloo is not the best person to invest in. I'm still gonna use him anyway, but just for those that for some reason only watch my videos and haven't watched anyone else, you don't want to invest in Baloo. The worst racer in the game apparently right now is Sully because he has no acceleration or handling or something like that. He has the highest top speed, but you can't reach it. Um, the best one right now to invest in is Mike Wolzowski. Um, Disney is apparently aware of this fact, and I assume they're going to balance change all this kind of stuff later as time progresses. They're still watching to see how the game does. So that's good, which is why it's an early access for them to kind of see what's going on with it. So everything right now will probably change before the game is fully released. I don't imagine they want you to be able to just win with one Razor all the time and no one else. So hopefully by then Baloo will be more viable. The only problem is his special, which does kind of bite him in the butt because you have the charged and uncharged version. The uncharged version is fine. It makes you invulnerable and throws fruit behind you to stun enemies, which I use it for the invulnerability more than anything. And if you're behind, obviously you can't use that because it's not behind you. So you'll use the charge version and that um, summons fruits in front of you. But opponents can hit the fruit too for the same effect that you would get, which is a nitro boost. I don't know what Mowgli does. I played him in the starter thing. I kept summoning wolves, but I don't know what the wolves do. Rush ahead for long distance, stunning opponents that touch. Call three wolves to run alongside you for a long period of time, stunning opponents that touch. Jumping into the rules give you a nitro. Cool. Uh, I should use the uncharged version then. I kept using the charged version. I thought they were showing you shortcuts because that's what it looked. I thought they were like guides. That's what it looked like they were doing. I never saw them hit or stun anyone. So the Mowgli seems fun. Blue is all right. He's just I gotta. I know I'll be playing at a disadvantage using him. For now anyway until they balance everyone out so that's all that's pretty much all i wanted to come back and say is the game is fine i have no further grievances with it aside from the little nitpicks that i had er mentioned earlier but since it will be a free-to-play game when it comes out this this method is fine unlocking by playing is perfectly fine for a free-to-play game and hopefully they won't have like any i'm really hoping they don't have a cash shop for this later i pray they don't add that because how it is now is perfectly fine as an actual free to play unlock everything by playing game rather than spending money to unlock stuff especially since you can kind of I guess can you buy stats if you can buy to level up your character technically yes but for the most part you'll always just be playing against other people of your skill level anyway so that won't be an issue I guess if they want to add a cash shop it wouldn't be the worst thing this isn't the most egregious game to add it to. It doesn't give you that significant of an advantage. Unlike, let's say, Pokemon Unite, which I was fully against that one. No matter what people say about the stats not making that big of a difference, there's still the fact that you will be fighting other people that didn't have those same stat advantages. So, eh. But yeah, this game's fine. I, easy E out of 10. I think I gave it a 7 out of 10 last time. So I bumped it up by a whole digit. Like the whole unlocking thing was my biggest grievance, but that wasn't enough to kill the joy of the game for me. So yeah, great game. Would highly recommend. That 8 out of 10 makes it highly recommended. If it's going to be a free to play, then yeah, I w it's kind of a different league from Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing because it's free to play. So if you want something that you get most of your content already from the bat, then obviously play one of those two. But if you want a free to play game with awesome banger of a music with I say charming graphics. You have to get used to them. The voice acting is also a little weird, but it's it's nostalgic to see all your um, favorite characters kind of here racing and having fun doing their cool animations and whatnot. So that's fine. So if you wanted something like that, then yeah, this game is pretty good, and it's probably going to get better as they keep updating it and patching it out. Well, so I I'm anxious to see how it's going to be in the future when they get all the all those kind of bugs worked out. The only gameplay issue I've noticed is loading time for some reason it will freeze while loading which is weird because I have an Xbox so it shouldn't be doing that it shouldn't be stuttering like that my Xbox is stronger than my laptop sadly 
so it should be able to load things near instantly so it, must, it has to be a server thing so their server has to be kind of updated on their end which also means i guess this game can't really be played offline it might be because when you load up the game it says connecting to the server i don't know if it can be played offline even with local free play speaking of local free play i will need to come here to practice for the fin uh figment figment um thing which i already forgot what stage he's on but that's all i'm going to be doing right now that's all i want to come back and say as i mentioned the game is fine my grievances are no longer grievances i have a different grievance but it's minor <clears throat> no my voice is giving out so if you want to play the game play it my it's it's a lot of fun like i said the music is definitely the highlight of it so that's all <laughs>